Ten years ago, two friends named Andrew Falshaw and Hadrian Monlu were sitting around their kitchen table in the small town of Bells Beach, Australia. They were talking about accessory design, phone cases, backpacks, bags, anything carry related. As designers, this was a common topic of conversation for them. All of a sudden, they started talking about the stupidity of wallet design. They wanted to know how a wallet could be so bulky but carry so little. Surely there was a better design out there. They couldn't have known it at the time, but this simple idea would eventually give birth to Bellroy, an accessories brand that is now valued at $83 million. Bellroy was far from an overnight success. It took them 10 years to take their idea from the kitchen table to the international stage, and their story is full of valuable lessons. Today, we're going to do a deep dive into the evolution of Bellroy to see how this tiny Australian business built its accessory empire. The Birth of Bellroy Like most successful businesses, Bellroy was founded in response to a problem, a bulky, outdated leather one. When Andrew and Hadrian looked at their wallets, they didn't see a pocket-sized accessory, as you or I would. They saw wasted space. Andrew goes so far as to compare traditional wallets to filing cabinets. Sure, this might be overdramatic, but the founders were picking up on something that everyone else had missed. For decades, we've been walking around with wallets so big, they'd leave stretch marks on our pockets. No one batted an eye, except for Andrew and Hadrian, that is. In response to this problem, the friends got to work on a prototype of what would become Slim Sleeve, the grandfather of the minimalist wallet trend. Everything was done in-house. They used their backgrounds in product design to draw plans and source materials and brought two engineer friends on board to help with manufacturing and construction. The four friends would meet around Andrew's kitchen table whenever they had a spare minute to talk about wallets, building wallets, testing wallets, and to just think about wallets. All together, the prototyping process took them over a year and nearly 100 models. In the end though, they had a fully fledged product. Testing the waters. When a startup is designing a product, they're usually forced to hand over a hefty sum of money to a market research firm. In return, they'll get surveys, focus groups, and product demos that will assure them that their product has a place in the market. If they don't, they risk putting out a product that nobody wants or needs. Bellroy took a different approach. They built an in-house market research system with advanced feedback capabilities and a self-generating list of sales leads. It was a blog called Carryology, and it quickly attracted tens of thousands of people who shared their passion for intelligently designed accessories. People used the blog as a forum to discuss all things wallets, backpacks, luggage, and cases. It was a gold mine for Andrew and Hadrian, as they were looking for insights into the needs and desires of their market. Whenever they had a new idea for the slim sleeve prototype, they would write up a post, attach some photos, and within minutes, their inbox would be full of constructive feedback. The blog was a hit. Friends recommended it to friends, who recommended it to friends until it became the most popular carry community online. This put them in an amazing position. Their initial customer base had come to them before they'd even launched their first product. Whenever they posted a slim sleeve update, they'd receive hundreds of messages asking when the wallet would be released. These messages gave them every assurance they needed that the product they'd spent the past year designing had a place in the market. After they launched the Slim Sleeve, they went on to develop and launch four other wallet models with the help of the Curiology community. Scaling the business Bellroy's wallets were immediately a hit with the Curiology community. People loved the build quality, the look, the feel, everything. Online people were describing Bellroy's wallets as the best that money can buy. With praise like that, the founders knew that Bellroy was destined for great things. They began the scaling process by purchasing online ads with the hope of increasing the company's reach beyond the Curiology community. 
They wanted the style of these ads to match their products, clean, quiet, and minimal. As it turns out, just like people were tired of bulky, oversized wallets, they were also tired of busy, overstimulating ads. Bellroy's first ad campaign was a huge success. It featured a simple side-by-side -side comparison that clearly showed that the slim sleeve wallet was about half the size of a traditional wallet. Simple imagery like this was perfect for catching people's attention and getting them to see the problem that had caused them to start the company in the first place. Their success of their marketing campaigns brought a lot of changes for the Bellroy team. For starters, they had to move their headquarters from Bells Beach to Fitzroy. Bells Beach, Fitzroy. Bellroy. It's almost like they planned it. The move into an urban office space allowed them to increase their staff from 40 to 50, which in turn led to a massive increase in company output. In the years after the move, Bellroy's product offering steadily grew. First, five products, then 10, then 15, and beyond. With each product, they carefully tested features and quality within the Karyology community. And because of this, each product received rave reviews. Bellroy began to make headlines in magazines like GQ and Vogue, and gain features with influential stockists like Huckberry. The snowball was rolling. Flash forward to today, and Bellroy produces 60 products, ranging from phone cases to carry-ons, and generates $29.4 million in revenue every year. Imagine being at that kitchen table 10 years ago. If you try to tell Andrew and Hadrian what their idea would become, perhaps they would have thought you were crazy. Their story shows the power that simple ideas can have when executed well. It also shows that there is real value in seeing the world differently than others. Wallet carriers everywhere were perfectly happy to keep on using the same oversized wallets they always had, until Bellroy built a minimalist option. Hopefully their story has inspired you to get thinking about the minor inconveniences in your life. You never know where the solutions will take you.